At the heart of this slum in Kawangware lies a group of women who call themselves their money craft group. These women have come together in order to start income generating activities that will help rescue them from the jaws of poverty. Usually, it is women who historically take on suffering to preserve their families' health and brave the great discrimination and injustices, especially in the slum areas. These women must be helped in finding ways in order for them to leave the slums and create a world with less poverty. Factors that led Beatrice Okumu to mobilize women within her area to come together and engage in activities that will empower them. I was able to get a lot the group comprises of 20 women who come together every week to make ornaments using the simplest of materials. <laughs> Waste paper, office glue and varnish is all the raw material they require. First, we have a makaratasi, we have a posters, we have a makaratasi, we have a Proceeds from the sales they make go to buying food for the women so they can be able to fend for their families. Besides working together to provide for themselves a source of income, the women are creating awareness to empower other women and even encourage them to join their initiative. However, they face a myriad of challenges. When you have a market, na mtu hizi ka idol, mtu akana mahitaji. Kuna mwingine anaona badala kuna wenye wanapenda idolism, mtu anaona badala ni kuje nichoke bure, kutengeneza kitu ambacho sioni faida yake, anarudi kwa nyumba. Tukisa zingine ukiita kama meeting hivi, mtu anauliza iko pesa au nini? Hakuna. Iko market hakuna, mtu anaona ni heri akae anakataa kukuja. With the biggest challenge being able to access their target market, the need for developing a website became a vital strategy for their sales and since they put it up, the sales have been growing. Their product pricing ranged from 100 Kenya shillings to 300 shillings. Who would have thought that paper, waste paper for that matter, could be used to make such beautiful ornaments? These women hope that more and more people can appreciate their creativity. For Women and Power, I'm Liz Ntonjira. Women and Power.